Hey guys, Greg here, and let's solve copy list with random pointer, lead code 138. Now there's a lot to read here, so we're not gonna read all of it, but a linked list of length n is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer, and that could point to any node in the list, or it could point to null. So we want to construct a deep copy of this list. So that means it has brand new nodes, and basically say we are given this original linked list right here. Our job is to get a deep copy where we construct new nodes that all look the same, and the next and random pointers are pointing to the copies here. So we don't want those to point to the original list. We make new nodes, and we have the same values, same next and random in the same order, but those pointers are all going to point to the copies. So it's just a complete brand new copy of the linked list. Now the issue you might have encountered is say you were looking at this node, well we need to point its next to be a different node, but that node might not exist yet. And say you were trying to point its random to something, well that node also might not exist yet. So there's actually a really easy and elegant way to do this using a hash map. Now more specifically, what we're going to do here is we'll get a pointer C kind of pointing at the first node here. So we'll point that to be the head. So we're going to make a copy of that node. So we'll just write that as 7. So we're starting to build up our copy of the list here. So we have a copy of the node 7. That's pretty easy to make. You can just take the value and make a new node out of it. It's missing our next and our random pointers for now. But, but that's actually okay because the first run through our list here, we're actually just going to make a hash map of old to new new nodes, okay? So old, this is the old node, and it's going to map over to the new node. And so we'll see why we want to do that in a second. But this is going to allow us to have a mapping from each old node over to its corresponding new node. And then after we go through the list once, we would have that entirely. Okay, so it's going to be in this pattern of basically old to new, where this is our old, and it's going to map over to our new node. Okay, it's going to use the memory address as the key there for the hash map. The old node, I'll call here lowercase a and the new node I'll call it kind of capital A okay so then we are going to basically have we're going to map the old node which is lowercase a over to the new node which is capital A okay so then we're saying given this node here we can have a constant lookup to its new version now we can do that for every single node okay so I moved things around here but we have our hash map which I guess I'll just call H for now and we have the construction of all of our new nodes and and the letters here, that's really just used in the visualization. That's not going to show up in our hash map. It's just a way of kind of saying that we're mapping this node over to that node. Now that we have this, if we set a pointer cur to be the head and we go through again, we know that, well, we have constant access to that new node. And we also know that whatever these things are pointing to, well, those are just references to, say, this node or this node. That means we also have immediate access to whatever that new node actually is. And we know it's been created. So this run is going to be all about assigning those next and random pointers. Now we can see here that lowercase a, its next pointer is actually pointing to b. We have immediate access to the new nodes for everything here, so we can immediately say, okay, well, given this node, we'll key the dictionary to get this version of it, so we now we can access the new one, and we can adjust its next property to say, okay, well, I want to point that to, again, we can use the hash map, you just need to plug in this next value, which is a reference to this node, and so use the hash map, that's going to give you this one. What's point the new nodes next over to its appropriate new pointer. And we can do exactly the same thing for the random as well. It happens to be pointing at null, and that's fine. So we could find that out, and then we could point that over to null as well. So we really just follow that pattern. We know that A is done at this point, and we have our next pointer B. And so B, okay, well, its next is actually C. So we could use the hash map to draw that connection. Its random happens to be pointing to A, so that's fine. We could actually draw that over, utilize the hash map and then we could point that over and I'm not going to draw the whole thing but we'd iterate through one at a time we would end up just basically making this and we could get our random pointers as well. Okay, so let's write our code. Now there's actually an annoying edge case here where it actually allows the list to be entirely empty. And when that's the case, you might just want to write if not head and return none. I hope it bothers some of you that I'm doing the return line on one line. I know it bothers some people. So if we don't have a head, just immediately return none. Otherwise we do have a valid head. That seems something funny to say. And cur is going to point to that head where we're going to start to do our first run through. The first run through is going to basically create 
create this dictionary, which I'm going to call old to new. So this is just a hash map, mapping old node references to new node references. And we'll say, hey, while we have cur, so while cur is a valid node, well, we'll get the new node, which I'll just call node, is equal to make a new node. That's the whole point of a deep copy is we're making new nodes. And we'll set the val, which for some reason is called x, as you can see up here. We'll set the value equal to, of course, it's got to have the same value. So it's current value. Okay, and we're not going to worry about the next and random pointer for now. They're both by default going to be set to none. And that's fine. We'll deal with that later. We'll set up our hash map. So we'll map old to new at the reference of the current node. So that plugs in just the memory address that will work just fine. Old to new at cur is going to be pointing to our new node. And we set cur equal to cur.next so that we can keep looping through the list. Okay, after we get out of this point, we will have created all of our nodes and we'll have created our hash map. So we'll again set cur back to be the head and we'll say, hey, while we have cur again, go through one more time, we'll access the new node. So not create, we will access our new node, get a reference to it with old to new at cur. We have reference to that new node that's basically analogous to our cur and we can set our next and our random. New node dot next, we can set that equal to old to new at cur dot next. Cur dot next is what cur was pointing to and so we want to point the new node also to be that same thing and we only want to do that if we actually have cur dot next but otherwise it could be null or none and so otherwise we actually want to just set that equal to none. Okay, we then want to do the exact same thing with random. So we'll set the new node dot random equal to utilize the hash map. So it's going to be old to new, not at cur dot next, but at cur dot random. So plug that in the hash map if we have cur dot random, but otherwise you want to set that equal to none. And then we still want to go through our list and we'll set cur equal to cur dot next. At this point, we have done one loop to create the hash map and all of our nodes. And then we've done one to fix our pointers. So this is going to work just fine. What do we return? I think it's actually super clever and it just feels good. We want to return old to new at the head. Okay, so you want the analogous head, the copy of the head, and that again uses that hash map. It's like just a classic where it's like, oh, Greg's obsessed with hash maps. Well, you can see why. Okay, so the time complexity of this algorithm, as with most linked list questions, it's basically big O of n. We run through the list twice, basically, and that's fine. The space complexity, unlike most linked list questions, is actually O of n. We are storing this entire dictionary. It does count as extra space, so we're going to say the space is O of n as well. I really do like this question. I hope you did as well. Have a great day, guys, and bye-bye.